What's up, guys? Kevin here. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the ELRS Web Fresher to fresh the firmware on the BLV4 ELRS receiver. So currently, we are still waiting for the official target to be released, and an ELRS team said it will be uh, released under 3.3 firmware. And currently, it's still uh, on 3.2.1, and we don't have a time frame when ELRS team will release the 3.3. So at this point, uh, we have a lot of customers asking um, how to deal with the firmware issue. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a generic target to uh, fresh on the BLV4 ERS receiver. So uh, when you get into this link, I will have this link um, to be a variable under the video. So you can get that link. And then in here, you will, uh, you will see the version numbers still uh the latest one will be 3.2.1 it doesn't matter so if, if your radio is 3.0 or 3.x use the 3.2.1 and then i always recommend our customer to update their remote to the newest version uh and then uh, on the vendor here you will need to select generic target use as a base and for the device type you will need to select 2.4 gigahertz uh, receiver and, and the device model will be generic ESP8285 PA, diversity PA, I'm sorry. Yeah, this one, this is the right one. So when you get this one correct, and the next step will be uh, going to click next, and then it will jump into the option page. In here, you can input all your information like finding faces, uh, region, uh, your Wi-Fi address, passcode, and also you can change the uh, the time uh, to get into to get the, the receiver into the Wi-Fi mode. Currently, uh, the default setting is 60 seconds. After 60 seconds, uh, power up, you will get into the Wi-Fi mode. Uh, for me, I will just keep everything uh, as default. And then uh, for the freshing, there is a couple different modes you can do it. Um, you can either download it as a bin file and then get into the Wi-Fi mode, connect to it, and use uh, 10.0.0.1 to get into the configuration page to update the firmware through Wi-Fi. And the other way is to do, to do it, use the beta fright path through. So when you use beta fright path through, you need to hold the bind button on the fright controller and plug into the USB uh, because the the fright controller is very, very tiny and then there is not much space. So we have to share the bootloader button to the fright controller at the same time, the ESP32, which is the ERS main MCU. So when you hold the bind button, it's basically uh, enable both MCU into the bootloader mode. And uh, you need to exit the fright controller DFU mode in order to use the beta fright path through. So uh, when you have the beta fry configurator and then after you push the button and plug in USB, you will see DFU mode on in here. And then you just need to exit DFU mode. And after you exit DFU mode, you don't need beta fry configurator anymore, just close it. And after that, you can use beta fry path through and just click next. And then in here, you will need to select the port pops out which is the beta fry path through mode to fresh the firmware just click connect and then after that in here i'm not going to do it because i didn't plug in anything just um, click fresh and you will start uh, freshing and after the freshing done you're good to go uh, that will be it I, I think there is a lot of other way to fresh the firmware but just remember use the generic uh, 82 85 diversity PA 2.4 gigahertz RX. This is the target that you can use on the BLV4 ELRS receiver. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good day.